Hi Cancer! This is your weekly day-by-day -day tarot cards readings by M for the week starting 6th of April 2020. Alright, we'll, we'll go day-by-day -day into specifics now. So we'll start from Monday. Okay, Monday. For you is the Sun card. Sweet. And then the Moon. Ace of Swords. Wednesday. Now Thursday. We have the Chariot. Friday. Nine of Wands. Saturday. A High Priestess. And Sunday. Sunday, Two of Wands. Alright, your influencing energy is Ten of Wands this week. Alright, Nine and Ten. Something was burdening you, obviously. You will drop it, the sun card, you will finish it, all right? Your burden will disappear this week, you'll manage. Obviously, I see it is a good card. Let me pair it now so we can go into specific. But, um, yeah, let me just see. Okay. But it is uh, somehow that you got into this week with something that is burden for you. It's... Um, it's heavy, you're carrying it perhaps for a long time. But I like the sun card on Monday. It's, it's healing, it's op being optimistic, it's children, it's excitement, it's everything is good. Whatever else comes with pairing with the sun on Monday, it must be good. <laughs> it cannot be at least that bad. <laughs> All right, let's do that. Let's pair this sun card on Monday. And we're doing it with Three of Cups. Lovely. Some small celebration that for sure. The Moon. With Three of Wands. Ace of Swords. Wednesday. With Queen of Cups. That's your Cancer. The Chariot then. Thursday. Repairing with the High Priestess. Double energy of high priestess, even the moon down there, we can talk about very similar energies. All right, um, nine of wands, Friday. The star. Nice. The high priestess on Saturday. Let's see. Knight of swords. Okay. And the two of wands. Knight of all right, very nice, it's okay. Four of Cups, your influencing energy, and I love this Four of Cups. Look at this beautiful um, uh, drawings in here. Lovely. Um, expecting more for yourself. Okay, whatever comes your way, there is something that you feel uh, right now, but it's not enough. And you have full right to say, no, I want more for, your, for myself. I mean, being burdened in here. Though, immediately, as we start this this reading, as I said, the sound card is good no matter whatever I pair it with. And then there is a three of cups, beautiful energy of celebration. It's shortly, this three of cups, it's a, it's a moment in time, but it seems to me it will be, because this ten of ones comes as an influencing energy this week, it will be something will be over, completed for you, and you will be celebrating it. And it's going to be Monday. All right. You will be very happy that it's over. It, it was burdening you. It was um, um, troubling you. You didn't like it anymore. You had to carry it with you. You had to leave it with. So you're going to drop it. You will celebrate this success. Something is very successful. Something is bright and shiny and beautiful for you. Being optimistic, being happy. This is all happiness. All right. What can I explain anymore about these two? 
you are happy and you're celebrating with another people or with your friends, with your siblings, um, anyway, anyhow, you are happy and you're celebrating. Nothing to talk about that anymore. Lovely, enjoy your Monday. Tuesday now, we're talking Moon and Three of Wands. Right. Now, Three of Wands, it is another Three, right? We've got Three of, of Cups and Three of Wands following. Perhaps now you've got an idea about how to move forward, change, do some, do some change, uh, um, made some change and then expect results to see what is the cause and effect. I've done this. You know, I've done that, I've succeeded here, let me see what I get, what I'm going to get now from here. And it's and it's a moon down there, it's kind of a shady, you, you're you not sure in here, the moon in your environment is shady. Alright, whatever it is, you cannot see clearly, was it manipulation, was it lies, was it deceit, was it just, just something that you cannot see clearly for whatever reason. It doesn't need to be that, oh, somebody lied to you. No. It's just that you cannot see clearly and it's if you cannot just don't rush it. It's fine. It will become clear. It will become clear. There's ace of swords just on the very next day. So we never people normally panicking when they see this. No, we don't see clearly. We have to now dig deep. No, don't dig deep. <laughs> Let it be. The moon, it's not you not no, you don't know exactly you're expecting results you want to change you've done something expecting results take your time it's all right it will come it will show itself if it doesn't show on tuesday it will show another day next day or another it's all right i um, I'm, I'm pointing that i don't like going against the energies that are dominant if that's your dominant er energy play along enjoy that moment it's all right, it will come. Ace of Swords, as I said, moment of, of clear idea, clearance. Uh, your mind, look at this, it's a brilliant mind, brilliant idea that you can work out to the detail. Every detail you can work out, that's your Ace of Swords. It's, uh, it's something that's promising a lot. It is potential, but some idea that it is such potential that you can for, uh, do it for certain, that it does have certainty there. It's not like other ace uh, of, of, I don't know, cups, emotionalist. This does have certainty because it comes from your mind. You work that out. There's logic, that intellect, there's, there's uh, um, facts in there. There's some sort of certainty with ace of source that comes. And now, Queen of Cups, it's your energy in here. As I said, you are just that in your own power. Feeling good, feeling emotionally stable, you are just fine with that. Feeling good, just feel good, play along with your energies. Beautiful Wednesday for you. Cancer. Again, your, um, the chariot is your energy as well. With the high priestess, your high priestess in here, dig deep into your emotion, into your world, so you can know, so you do know. And it is chariot in here. I love. Let me just explain to you this chariot. I love this energy of a um, chariot who races through this uh, on this path, and, and it does have clear goal down there. It says finishing line, and you see it clearly. It says to you, you do have goal in front of you. All right, there's Ace of Swords. There is goal. You do understand. There's my goal. That's what I want. I can reach that one. If I do so, 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 and so, you see clearly your part. You know exactly what to do, what is necessary to do. And if you don't get distracted, if you keep your focus and you work hard, you will get there. This is competitive one. You, you, even, even, you know, when you feel like, oh, I would love to, to compete. You want to, I would like people to see how I'm doing it. You know, that kind of things, feeling better than another. Chariot. Lovely energy. I mean, if you have some goal in your mind, and it seems that you do, that is just right for you. That is something very right for you. It, you will get to this place if you just keep your eyes on the road. That balance for this chariot is very important. Very important. And the High Priestess, number two, tells me, yes, that's what you're searching for. 
find your balance, know it all into the details. High Priestess, I always say it, it's a time factor is there, it takes its time, all right? You need to know, you will know that's your environment. Perhaps your knowledge is coming, your understanding is coming. That one that you've been searching deep within, it's coming on Thursday. Your understanding, following this Ace of Swords and following the Moon card, as I said. Don't worry about Tuesday. Even if you don't, if you're impatient, you're expecting something to come. No rush, it's coming, clearly. Nine of Wands, working hard, eh? Working hard, if that is your idea, on Nine of Wands, or you will be finishing something outstanding also. You either working hard towards this new idea, new prospect that you have in front of you, or you are finishing something outstanding. With the Ten of Wands down there, it could very well be that. That it is something that it's still around you not finished, not done, that you have to complete over and over again. It takes effort, something that really takes massive effort to finish. You won't give up. That's not giving up. Nine of Swords, you are not giving up. Could also relate to this chariot. You are not giving up. You will go no matter how far, how difficult. You will go because you do see now, you understand big hope. You've got big hope for that, for that new things, that, that uh, new goal that you put in front of yourself, this new idea. You've got big hope, big, uh, uh, you're so optimistic about it, the star card. You understand working hard, you are not afraid, you're not afraid. You know, this is kind of not liking what you're doing uh, in a way, not because the job itself you don't like it. You don't like because it becomes difficult. Maybe you have to go on and on with the same one things or it's complexity of work. Lots of small things or big things around you that you have to do and redo. Nine of Wands, it's a hard work but you are not giving up, you will complete it. And as I said, the star card there is a, you very hopeful, you are so hopeful. I kind of really see this Wednesday, Thursday and Friday very much connected around same one things that is represented in this Ace of Swords on um, Wednesday. Now, Saturday we do have the High Priestess and Knight of Swords. Even Whatever the high priestess, as I said, time factor always with high priestess. You do have goals, you competitive and everything, but within you, your certainty was perhaps lacking there. You see what I'm saying? Your certainty, yes, you're optimistic, yes, you've got big hopes. But then, on a Saturday, the high priestess and the knight of swords, you do understand it now. You do understand. Your knight of swords is, tells me, uh, communication, understanding, it's action in here involved. Mental, you know, perhaps you have to consult somebody. Perhaps this is your action and it's action in communication. Perhaps you are consulting somebody who is like this high priestess, who can give you advice good advice, um, who can understand you and then give advice. No, it just not just intellect. It is understanding you from where you're coming, you know, you understand you, uh, your depth, what you really want, and then give you advice. Could be something like that on, on a Saturday. But it is good, right advice, and perhaps related, related to whatever happens here on Thursday. And as I said, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, I really see all gravitating around this idea from Wednesday. Anyway, anyway, two of wands with a knight of pentacles. Now, another two knights here over this weekend, you know, and two cards with number two. It's decision to make in your environment. Are you seeking some help in there or whatever it is? But you are um, in action to make this decision. Perhaps something that is coming from afar. 
perhaps something that is related to another country, perhaps something related to different places, um, maybe something which is time related, maybe something that's supposed to happen next year or, you know, that kind of distant uh, distance that we're talking about here, that you are um, very important in here. Time, space, but distance definitely important in here. Um, uh, travel in by all means, you know, travel um, where you really have to um, go through within you to understand what is going on, to understand what is your future, to understand what's your you're working hard on it, or really seeing the place. Um, you see, when it's kind of you've got an offer from overseas, you want to go and travel and work somewhere else. At the moment, we do have this uh, stagnant moment in all our life, in the world, but we don't travel and so on. So it is stagnation kind of. But your decision in your mind is kind of you would like to make decision. You are uh, um, seeking advice. You are communicating. But look, this one is, that is the world in there, in front of this person. But she's still standing in a room. You are kind of you're having that what you're having right now and you see opportunities cancer somewhere else in some other situation in some some somewhere else some other place some other situation with some other people doesn't matter you see opportunities something and it's kind of calling you you kind of hearing uh, um you would love it uh, it's it's really called from this world, from another side, from another point, from another group of people. But you don't know. You kind of indecisive. Will it be better than this? What I've got in here? Is it really better? There's fear. That's fear involved very much with these two of ones. Indecisiveness in fear. Maybe maybe it's not good down there. Maybe this is better. That kind of way, not being sure calling to move forward yet security and stability keeps you in place knight of pentacles tells me slowly but surely you will you will decide you feel you feel that you're moving forward you're moving forward slowly very slowly decision you acquiring knowledge communicating but you actually moving very slowly to manifest you are as i said busy um it will be it will be something within you that you will understand. You will search for result, for for um, understanding, for facts, uh, for advice. That you be you will be very much active and uh, uh, you will receive results. That what is good. Um, that what we see in here. But then manifesting not yet, not yet. Even um, my impression is that that you. Mm, still not there, that you still with like this one, one leg here, another leg down there, and you weighing what's better, where's cold, where's hot, you know, things like that, cancer, but anyway, anyway, I'm sure you'll, you'll do best for yourself, enjoy it anyway.